Hello, my friend. This is Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com. Happy to spend some time with you on this video. This time around, I'm going to check out a very impressive tool that can help you separate and extract different elements and instruments from a mix. This application and software by the company Hit and Mix, it's called RipX, and it has different modules and sections that will help you to manipulate the audio in many incredible ways that I think no other tool will give you to extract, separate, and manipulate all of the individual instruments and different groups of instruments of a mix. In this video, I want to walk you through all of the features, all of the components and sections that will help you to do that. Of course, I want to give you audio examples of everything and to see also what makes this tool unique in the market there is a 20-day free trial available so go ahead and check it out i will leave everything down below in the description and first comment full disclosure the company hit and mix approached me to do this video this is a paid promotion but ultimately all of the thoughts and opinions are mine they are also watching the video at the same time as yourself so they have no part in the creation of this video it was important for me to let you know about this before we begin i'd like to invite you quickly to my website amnorhunted.com where i have some freebies for you that you might want to check out i have some free pdf guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players also i have some tools such as some collections of guitar impulses a drum sample pack for rock and metal sound among other utilities and finally don't forget to check out the blog and this channel which i'm updating weekly with tons of free content so now let's get straight to the video so let's see here what it's rip x deep create by the company hit and mix this application because it's not a plugin right you cannot use this within your dw it's uh, used on your desktop this is an application or software that will allow you to separate and extract all of the elements within a mix it doesn't matter if it's your mix it doesn't matter if it's someone else's mix a famous song it will allow you to carefully separate everything and then you're going to be able to manipulate everything that was separated this tool does it in a very simple way the ease of use of rip x will blow your mind i'm sure it also does everything in real time and you can hear and play back everything add effects things like that that we're gonna check out in a moment so this is the main window that appears when you open up the application the first thing that we need to do here is to add a song for instance in this case i'm gonna add a full mix that i have here to click here on the folder and you add your mix it will appear this pop-up window as you see here you can select what instruments you want to have the vocals other sounds and instruments could be synthesizers pianos things like that the bass and drums and percussion all right for the purpose of this video i'm gonna select only these four you have here another option that says save stems only this is for dj or daw it gives you the estimate time that it will take for this software to separate completely and break down all of the elements all right so let's hit rip and as you see here it tells you the minutes that are left to complete the task let's just wait for that so once the application is finished you can see here all of these lines all of these elements distributed across the interface right you're gonna have also the bpm also the time signature if you go to any of these individual parts of the track it will tell you the pitch very interesting you can use this tool that you have here and scroll your mouse to the right to zoom in or zoom out this complete track from start to finish and you're gonna be able to see the different instruments by different colors all right so this is the main tab or section where you see all of the tracks that you have processed then you have the layers where you can now separate each individual part of the song you have the masters which is the full mix you have the vocals the guitars bass kick drum the drums percussion so you might have for instance the snare in the drum section or the percussion you could isolate those to get the snare maybe the kick drum though will be isolated separately let's play here the track and let's check out what we have here Much 
So you can mute the vocals, for instance, you can solo it or you can record as well. Notice how when you click in some element, you are going to see that specific element here and the spectrum. So for instance, the bass in purple, the kick drum, the percussion, right? And you click in any of that. And it will give you the sound. Let's click on master and you have all of the instruments. One thing that you can do is to see all of these notes and hits as straight notes like a MIDI file, right? Like this. Let's go back to the normal view and let's go back to straight notes. So for instance, let's solo here the different elements. So you see how this can be useful if you want to uh, practice a song. If you want to do a backing track of a song, you can do that very quickly here. You can mute the instruments that you want. Or also you could uh, maybe create a remix of your track because you can manipulate all of these different elements of the mix. And we're going to check out that in a moment. All right. Let's go to some of the editing tools that you have here. So for instance, let's use the bass guitar. Let's solo it. These are the notes. You can create a loop here with this function and you can manipulate all of these notes. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's have the straight notes view. You can move the notes, whatever you want, up in pitch or down and you can hear that note. Go ahead and play back. You can extend the notes. You can cut it or shorten and you can do all sorts of stuff to the audio, like split the audio with this cut in half, right? And you can just like any editor, control Z, you are going to undo or redo the options, right? You can copy and paste things like that. Very simple. The same applies to Mac with the usual controls for editing. You can also draw notes and you can add different notes. Like in this case, there are no other tools out there that can do this. So for instance, let's move this note. We can check out everything in context. Of course, it's out of pitch, right? Also, this can be applied to vocals, right? You can also tune vocals. Like, for instance, if you don't have access to the mix or something. I only got a couple lines. Let's, for instance, manipulate this. Lines. I only got a couple lines. And you can hear it in context. Pretty cool because sometimes you might have some ideas to change the melody of the vocals or the guitar solo or the synthesizer, things like that. And with this, it can be done. You can also group all of these instruments just with your mouse. If you want something in particular, like a vocal section or something, you can do that here. And you can move entire sections like this. So now what we can do with this, all of these individual notes, we can add effects. We can change the pitch. We can quantize. We can add vibrato to that particular note, which I think it's impressive. You can expand the pitch, invert, slide, shift, create a harmony as well. Very, very impressive. So let's solo the vocals. You select a particular note and you apply this in real time. Let's go back to the regular view of the notes. And you even see the vibrato of the notes. With this control, you can apply a harmony. For instance, let's add a harmony. Two octaves above, third, things like that. Rise. 
Yeah, very, very impressive. You can also add vibrato. In real time, you're gonna see how this is added. You can quantize, make it more perfect. You can add also a chord and you can undo everything that you just did. You can add time-based effects such as reverb, delay, reverse, warp time. So for instance, if I would want a particular reverb or delay in that section, in that note specifically, let's add it. Lies. And you even see Let's play the whole thing. Got a couple so imagine doing this to any track, right? Where you can manipulate it even after it was released, even after it was mastered or something, or even your favorite tracks, right? If you want to play around with them, if you want to analyze them individually, very, very cool. Also, something that you can manipulate is the level of the particular note, the stereo panning, you can add a high pass and low pass filter, you can add a gate, or you can add compression in real time. This software does it very, very well. Also, this software has some presets, for instance, fade in preset, harmonies, reverb, vibrato, reverb drive, wet, delays, siding, reverb. Oh, Let's check it out. And then we have sounds as well that you can add to this samples of different instruments, right? You can add a different kick drum. For instance, let's go to the drums and let's solo the kick drum. You can add another sample here, for instance, and it can support. You can add toms, you can add cymbals, claps. It also has some instruments that you can apply. Let's solo the guitars here. Let's select this group of notes. You can alter the sounds with other sounds. And you can even add your own samples from your computer, your own drum samples, for instance. And you can also add your own plugins as well in BST3 format. So you can go ahead and look out on your computer for different instruments or plugins and they can be added. For instance, let's see, I'm gonna look for a plugin. For instance, this is a WA plugin recently released. It can be used here. The last section of this program is the loops and they can be added to the track. We drag and drop, very simple. For different genres of percussions and of course if you want to record something you can do that by selecting the input here your interface your microphone that you have hooked up to the computer and you can just click here record if you want to export any work that you have or the individual tracks or stems you can do that very simple just go to file export and you can export even the MIDI files. So very, very impressive. You can export in different formats such as FLAC, MP3s, WAVE. You can select what to export such as the selection, a loop. You can create single files, separate stems or separate layers. For instance, uh, you could export only the drums in MIDI and then you can use another software to trigger those drums. So yeah, very, very impressive. So yeah, amazing stuff by the company Hit and Mix. I think this is a very powerful tool. You're not going to find any other tool, I think, that can do all of this. The amount of manipulation of the audio that's possible from already mixed and mastered tracks, I think it's beyond measure. You could use this to practice, to separate different stems of different songs. You can do this to make remixes, to clean different parts of the audio. Pretty impressive what you can do with technology these days. Please let me know down below in the comment section, my friends, what are your thoughts on this tool, this software by the company hit and mix what do you think of the features what do you think of the capabilities and functions i will be very interested to know your opinions about this and before we go i'd like to invite you one last time to my website amnerhunted.com where you can get some cool freebies i have for you some free pdf guides 
and ebooks for music producers and guitar players. Also, I have some tools such as some collections of guitar impulses, a drum sample pack, among other stuff. And finally, don't forget to check out the blog and the channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it very much. I will see you very soon in the next one. All right? Take care.